I don't like him being president. I didn't want Donald Trump to be president. He's racist to Mexican. I hope that we can truly have a democratic process. It's just not what I was expecting. I feel very disappointed and disillusioned, but at the same time, not surprised. That uh, they're taking it as a joke. People are getting emotionally like stressed out. He's mouthing off that like he's gonna do this and that, and people are getting frightened. A little nervous, a little frustrated, but moving forward, trying to keep a positive attitude. My hope is that America still stays great. I mean, whatever. Well, there's no greatness, but at least America still stays stable and where Donald Trump isn't going to mess anything up and still going to stay the same. People will think it's okay to start saying rude, disgusting things to each other and that people will be more hateful instead of coming together. Um, my fear is that my parents might get deported and... That's my, that's my main fear. Um, my worry is being separated from my family and not being able to see them again. We live in the Bay Area. Like, we are in one of the best places to be in. And if bad things are happening, it's not going to happen right away. It's going to happen over time. The wall he wants to build is going to cost, like, I read something like $30 billion. And there's no way we have the money to build that. I think that there will be multiple efforts to get him out of office. Biggest fear is that he overturns DACA. He has done and says disgusting things to women, about Muslims, about Mexicans. Um, he's just generally offensive. He's nominated people to power who are known white nationalists, um, white supremacists. He's supported by white supremacists and hate groups and terrorist groups. And, um, so all of that stuff is dangerous and terrible. Because he can't make Mexico pay for it either, so no, he won't, he won't build a wall. Well, me personally, um, I try to put as much of my energy as possible into educating youth so that the next generation can come up and make really good decisions and be aware. I don't like that he won, and I think this is an opportunity for communities to come together and mobilize to make things better um so i think my, i mean my fear is that um is that trump will follow through with this idea of a muslim registry that um, muslim folks will be forced to register with the federal government um which is you know just a breath away from things like internment camps right which um happened during world war ii to the japanese americans um and I think um, I'm also really scared that um, that he will follow through on his promise to deport undocumented people um, who are living and struggling in this country. Um, and, you know, and just in general as a queer woman, I'm, I'm scared sort of just for anyone. I mean, also the number of hate crimes that have gone up. Um, you know, I'm scared for folks who are being yelled at on the streets. I'm scared for folks who are being attacked by um, by Trump voters who see his victory as some kind of uh, taking back of this country from people of color. Oh, I think his next move is going to be to um, stop the Obamacare, and I think it's going to be really sad because a lot of people are going to lose like the insurance and a lot of you know like really good health benefits that they got. Um. I hope that we can, I don't know, I feel like our country took a step back and I feel I want it to take two steps forward again.